everything you need to know about Bella Vista in 10 minutes. It's possible that you're sitting there right now doing research on Bella Vista and what it offers its residents. Well, my friend, you are in the right place. In this video, you're going to have a full tour and learn about what Bella Vista offers in regards to real estate, restaurants, nightlife, and the such. So sit back, relax, maybe grab some popcorn, and let's learn about everything there is to know about Bella Vista in 10 minutes. Real quick, before I start the timer, if this is your first time to the channel and you're trying to learn everything you can know about Northwest Arkansas before you make a move here, would you do me a favor and click that subscribe button and the notification button so you're made aware of every time I put a new video out for you? It's a regular occurrence. I get people deciding on Northwest Arkansas, but they're not sure quite which city. So my goal to deliver to you, my friend, is the most accurate and detailed information that you could possibly get about an area to help you with your decision. That said, let's go ahead and start our 10 minute timer. Bella Vista is located in the absolute northernmost part of Benton County, Arkansas, next to the Missouri border, on the north end of what people around here call Northwest Arkansas. Contrary to popular opinion, Bella Vista was not started as a retirement community. Of course, after the Native Americans and part of the Louisiana Purchase, the Reverend William Baker and his wife Mary are the ones who are responsible for damming up Sugar Creek, creating Lake Bella Vista. The Linebarger brothers bought it in the mid 19 teens and owned it for around 35 years, creating a resort community for the wealthier families to be able to come and summer there. It wasn't until the mid 1960s when John Cooper Sr. then purchased from another developer and started creating Bella Vista into a retirement community known as Bella Vista Village. For more of a complete history on that, visit bellavistamuseum.org. Before Bella Vista was incorporated as a city in January 2007, actor and TV star Eric Estrada, you know, Ponch from Chips, the late 70s, early TV show, had an infomercial. Hi, I'm Eric Estrada. I'm here to tell you about this beautiful resort community called Bella Vista Village in northern Arkansas. Although U.S. News once ranked Bella Vista as one of the top healthiest places to retire, don't be fooled into thinking that Bella Vista is just a retirement community. In fact, today, Bella Vista is made up of over 31,800 residents, according to World Population Review. It's the 14th largest city in Arkansas, has grown 5% since 2020, and the average age is 50 and a half years old. No, Bella Vista is no longer the resort or the retirement community that it used to be, but the features that make the area special are still growing strong to this day. Before we dig into all of those special features, you should know that Bella Vista is governed by its own property owners association. Yes, the entire city, as well as an architectural control committee. So when you are building, remodeling, or updating your home, the architectural control committee is going to need to sign off on your landscaping or the way the outside of your home looks. POA dues for an improved lot, which is a lot that has a water meter on it, is $40 a month. If it's a non-improved lot, just vacant land without a water meter, the association dues are $16 a month. Soon you're going to realize that $40 a month is not a lot to pay for all the features and benefits that Bella Vista has to offer. There are seven gorgeous golf courses scattered all throughout Bella Vista. Five of them are 18 hole courses and the other two are nine hole courses. And these aren't just your regular run of the mill golf courses. In fact, Bella Vista Country Club is on an elite list of 14 other courses scattered throughout the state on what's known as the Arkansas Golf Trail. The country club building itself was designed by E. Faye Jones, more on him in a little bit, but is actually on the National Register of Historic Places. Just imagine golfers, that totals the 108 holes of lush green Bermuda grass for you to enjoy. And as much as I would love to enjoy that with you, the Ping I 3s that I bought over 20 years ago are literally rusty. Anyway, speaking of undulating topography, the hills of Bella Vista are located in the southern tip of the Ozark Mountains. Bella Vista receives around 11 inches of snowfall a year, so by no means no downhill skiing here. However, with the hills and average rainfall just shy of 50 inches per year, the creek's streams are provided with an abundance of water which allows ample opportunity for damming up of these creeks to form the lakes found and tucked away around Bella Vista. In alphabetical order, we have Lake Anne, Lake Avalon, Brittany, Norwood, Rayburn, Windsor, and the newest lake completed in 1981 is called Loch Lamond. 
or Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond, Windsor, and Lake Anne are the only three lakes that allow you to have a speedboat on them, a wake lake, if you will. The other four lakes are absolutely a no wake lake. However, all lakes are fabulous for fishing, kayaking, paddleboarding. There's even a kayaking club here locally. There are beaches, parks, pavilions, the fish that you'll be catching will be bluegill, of course, the ever so fun largemouth bass, and on Lake Brittany is specifically stocked with trout. So while the other fish are laying dormant, the trout are active in the cooler waters of winter. Loch Lomond is the only lake, however, that has a full service marina. So if you live in the area, you may need to gas up and dock your boat elsewhere, or otherwise you're going to be launching it every time. These lakes are not interconnected. Let's say you own a 23 foot Mastercraft X-Star wakeboard boat, you could probably use it on Loch Lomond, Lake Windsor. You're gonna probably want to travel a bit east over to Rogers area and go into Beaver Lake, which is much larger of a, a lake experience. Here in Bella Vista or in Northwest Arkansas, all of our water is dammed up. So you have a lot of sloping lots that come down straight to the water. But it is interesting to see how people traverse the hill. But that brings me to our next topic is my favorite topic, which is real estate. The topography makeup of Bella Vista is so vastly different than other cities around Northwest Arkansas like Bentonville or Pea Ridge. It's, it's similar to like a Northern Minnesota type feel where there's tall pines and rolling hills. And the reason why I bring that up is because when you're here, it doesn't feel like Arkansas. It feels like you're up north in the woods. The terrain does not lend itself to a traditional grid layout of neighborhoods. So you have winding roads going every which way direction. The result of that is there aren't any national or large regional builders that build in Bella Vista. So you're gonna find some more smaller local builders that are building custom homes. You might have the same model on one street that's on a different, but in traditional neighborhoods like where I live, we have a lot of the same homes in Bentonville where in Bella Vista, lots of different undulation. It's a little bit more spread out and a lot more mature tree. A unicorn lot in Bella Vista is one that is flat completely. In Bella Vista, you're either gonna have a sloped driveway, a sloped backyard, or you're gonna have a sloped driveway and a sloped backyard. We have a wide variety of homes in the area from again, the early 60s where Cooper community started really developing homes. There's townhomes and two bedroom bathrooms all the way up to five, $6,000 mansions that are perched over one of the lakes. If you're looking for a lake home and you're looking in Northwest Arkansas, the most affordable lake lots are going to be in Bella Vista. More on that in another video. I know I keep talking about the rolling landscape or the topography that Bella Vista has, but that's what lends itself to some of the amazing features and one of my favorite features about Bella Vista is going to be the mountain biking trails. There are three trail systems in Bella Vista. You have Blowing Springs, Back 40 Trails, as well as Little Sugar Trail Systems that are all interconnected by the Razorback Greenway, taking you from Bella Vista all the way down to south of Fayetteville. With all three of those trail systems, there's around 96 miles of trails according to the Oz Trail Map but that's not including any of the hiking, walking trails for Tanyard Creek, the connector trails, and they're building multiple trails currently as I'm shooting this video. A lot of people come down here on a home shopping trip and also want to do some mountain biking. Anthony, is it gonna be raining while we're there? Well, there are a lot of wet weather trails, all weather trails, as they say, in Bella Vista, Bentonville, and all around Rogers and Fayetteville as well. So don't think that that's gonna hinder your trip. And while you're here, be sure to check out Pinion Creek and Tenure Creek to see the waterfalls that are there. Earlier, I had talked about Efe Jones. He had studied and gained a lot of his experience through Frank Lloyd Wright. He was the one who designed the Mildred B. Cooper Memorial Chapel. When you get here, you definitely need to check that out. It's located just off the shores of Lake Norwood on the east side of 71. Okay, Anthony, what about schools, nightlife, restaurants? Nightlife is non-existent in Bella Vista, Arkansas. If you're looking for nightlife, you need to travel south to Bentonville, Rogers, or maybe all the way even down into Fayetteville. When it comes to schools, Bella Vista is served by three different school districts. So if schools are important to you, make sure that you talk with your realtor on your move here if the home is located in your desired school district. On to the food scene for Bella Vista. If you are a foodie and looking for something specific for your palate, the selection is slim in Bella Vista. But a few notable restaurants are going to be Lake Point Restaurant, which is located at Loch Lamont Marina, Highlands Pub and Patio, for some Mexican, you could go to El Pueblito or Las Fajitas. JJ's Grill, one of my personal favorites is Gasano's Pizza for their Italian sub and deep dish pizza. 
For some cool eats and hot treats, you can check out Dairy Queen. Of course, there's a Subway and a Sonic in Bella Vista as well. For your medical needs, Mercy Healthcare Systems offers an emergency room and an urgent care there in Bella Vista. If you're looking for more of a longer term care or perhaps a specialist, you may need to travel down the road to Rogers or perhaps Washington Regional, which is located in Fayetteville. There locally, there is a Walgreens and a CVS close by to be able to help fill your prescription. Now bringing us to shopping with only a few precious seconds remaining. Major shopping for clothes or gear to help support your kayaking, golfing, or maybe even mountain biking needs. So you might have to travel just a little bit down the road and go to Bentonville Rogers to pick up those specialty items. Fat Tire Bike Shop just opened another location there in Bella Vista to support the mountain biking community. But for other things such as sundries and groceries, there's a Dollar General on, up near the Highlands. And depending on where you are in Bella Vista, it might be closer for you to drive. There's a Walmart there just over the Missouri border and really close to Bella Vista. There's a grocery store in downtown Bella Vista by the town center called Harps, or of a regional grocery store chain. And if you're looking for that down home, high touch, they'll carry the groceries out of the store for you type of experience, be sure to go to Allen's Food Market to pick up your groceries. Okay, so that might not be everything that you need to know about Bella Vista, but we did do it in 10 minutes. For more information, reach out to me anytime. Thanks again for watching, and now you know a little bit more about what life is like in and around Bentonville.